It's been said Seattle is a tough town for artists, and historically many of our most talented artists will leave the Northwest in search of more supportive audiences. That is not the case, however, for two famous Seattleites whose work has been chosen for display in the nation's most prestigious exhibit of prints. That's going on new in New York's Brooklyn Museum now, where Como's Tim Hillard paid a visit. But first, meet the artists themselves. A visit to their waterfront studios near Pike Place is an entrance into a fascinating world of printmaking. The works of Kathleen Rabel and her husband, Stephen Hazel, have been chosen for collections in galleries all over the world. They are both masters of an array of printing techniques. Here, Stephen is carving a woodblock just as the Japanese would have done nearly three centuries ago. And though they excel in the traditional and ancient methods of printmaking, their lithographs and etchings are distinctly original, with a definite Seattle influence. Both their works on exhibit in Brooklyn were inspired by Northwest weather. Actually, living on the waterfront, looking out at Elliott Bay, um, and watching the weather come in, that I'm very fascinated with the phenomenon of the Fata Morgana, which is a light and water mirage on Puget Sound. And I made this picture called uh, Beautiful Display, Ten Beauties of Chinatown, when I, when I lived in Chinatown. So I had a studio there. And um, the weather in Chinatown seems to be a lot different than the weather outside of it. It just seems very different when you're there. And so this, that picture is a weather piece, too, really. This, full of rain and fog and, and then these figures in the middle. Their work studio is in itself a national treasure of sorts with a vast collection of tools, inks, brushes, presses, and beautiful papers from all over the world. Her etching, now hanging in New York, also hangs here, originated on a brass plate. You put an acid-resistant ground on the plate and where the plate is open is where your image is going to etch in, in the acid. The couple has brought a renewed respect to the art of printmaking. And because prints are multiples, it's especially exciting for them to have their works displayed not only here in Seattle, but in New York as well, where Como's Tim Hillard paid a visit. Kathy, it's a long way from a studio in Seattle to Brooklyn, New York. But here at the Brooklyn Museum, we found a little bit of Seattle in the nation's most prestigious showing of printmakers. The works of over 70 artists are here, judged by this museum at least, to be the best in the nation. There are the familiar, like Andy Warhol and his portrait of Jane Fonda. Frank by Robert Longo. By and large, most the work of New Yorkers. It's where artists live. Their work, a product of what they see. Seattleites then stand out, like Kathleen Rabel's Fata Morgana, Blue Sky. It doesn't happen much in Seattle, but a mirage of an upside-down sailing vessel does. That's what Rebel is showing these New Yorkers. When Stephen Hazel created Beautiful Display 10, Beauties of Chinatown, he used a Northwest favorite, ground abalone, to make part of the image. Barry Walker is the museum curator. There are certainly uh, a, a West Coast school, a, nor a Northwest Coast school, started certainly by Toby, which has continued in uh, people like Kathleen and Stephen. It's the work is very closely color-keyed, uh, very subtle color. Uh, I, I have no idea if that, that has anything to do with the climate of Seattle and if their work would be different if they were living in San Diego. Living in Seattle, Walker says, allows the artists to pursue their own style, uninfluenced by the pressures of New York. He sees a Northwest Indian influence in another Seattleite's work, Sherry Markovitz, who is primarily a sculptor. But there is more cave painting seen in her Tiger Chase. Over 100,000 people will see this exhibit, and while some pieces attract more attention than others, Markovitz, Hazel, and Rabel are making sure that some here are seeing a bit of Seattle, too. Tim Hillard, Como News, Brooklyn. If you'd like to take a look at their work, it is now on display here in Seattle, too, at the Greg Cousera Gallery in Seattle, 608 on 2nd Avenue.